Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. We're once again joined by Mark from Qualitex. Mark, thank you for coming in. It's great to be here, Greg. And today, he is, he's, he's had his thinking cap on. He's been thinking outside the box, and he's come up with, with well, with this. You can't really miss it, can you? But there's, there's some interesting thinking behind it, isn't there? So, yeah, well, I hope so. So, Mark, over to you. Where's your inspiration come from? What are you doing, and, and why have you done it this way? Well, this year, we've got uh, uh, one of the largest film release, animated film releases mm -hmm. with Toy Story 4. Of course. Uh, and uh, that was my start of the inspiration. But then you think about, well, who's that going to really appeal to? Mm -hmm. And it's quite a wide age range now because it is, it, yeah. it, it, it's more of an evergreen license but i started to think about children's parties mm -hmm. and then you think about the, the the what do people really do at children's parties and what do they really like to do and one of the things that is he's really good everybody loves to take a balloon home yeah. a balloon for each of the children to go home um and then you start to think about well is there a limit to the amount of money that that most people would spend on a children's party and how do we fit decoration in plus balloon element because i'm guessing a lot of people just get a balloon put it on the back of the chair exactly yeah or they have a bunch of balloons that they hand out at the end or they blow them up to hand them out at the end um uh, or they 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 get used all the way through the party and then mm -hmm. you don't always have the right amount of balloons at the end for the, the amount of children yeah, you've yeah, got yeah um and it started to be thinking about well if you had an actual design that you could remove uh, uh the balloons from uh, then that would be really good. Okay, yeah, And like it. One of the products that has been around a long time that I've been a really big fan of, uh, everybody knows premium now for the equipment, but yeah. this is 30 gram premium uh, uh, clip weight, and I'm a real fan of these. Yeah. yeah, I feel they've been very underutilized over the years because they are very practical. You can just attach them to it almost anything They're great they attach them to clothing uh, yeah. in, into the design so that made me think well we, if we put some places on the design where they can be clipped into mm -hmm. then it'd be really easy to remove the balloons at the end yeah there's no cutting the the the, the ribbon and then potentially having a balloon that gets of accidentally yeah. released for yeah. the environment and for the child that's unfortunate yes. to lose their balloon yes. um but also i thought that it'd be really nice that once all the balloons have gone that you're left with a design that's still really good for the birthday boy or girl exactly so um I, i'm not going to uh, uh, recreate the whole design for you but most of it's classic decor yeah um and we've covered some of those bits before but we can see that more when we finish but the, yeah the, the 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 central focal point of it is obviously the new uh uh, uh toy story 4 bubble mm -hmm. um and these are the first that I've, uh, I've seen inflated okay so these are from our, our they're very nice list. they're beautiful aren't they uh we've obviously got our 11 inch uh, uh printed coordinates to go to go with it um but then i wanted something on the design and it's really important with disney licensing that that you don't just try and recreate characters that you don't do anything that might be um you know not not uh, 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 Disney license. You've just got to be really careful because yeah. as unlikely as it is that somebody's going to come <laughs> knocking on exactly. the door if you've created something on your silhouette cameo. Yeah, Peter Rabbit was one that people were going crazy for, but lots of people doing Peter Rabbit stuff. But you've got to be careful. You do have to be careful. And I think as a, uh, I think it's always uh, important, uh, as we always do, is to, is to promote a professional yeah. industry. So what I did was pick an iconic image that could be anything uh, any sheriff badge it just happens to work really really well with woody's of sheriff course. badge yeah um so i've used a 36 inch star mm -hmm. and some of our new chrome balloons to yes. create the, the 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 badge okay so i can show you that if you like show, show us how to do that then mark fantastic so um this is one of our uh, 36 inch balloons at the moment obviously we haven't got uh, a chrome star in 36 inch at the moment at the moment uh, moving swiftly on, so um, very fair. <laughs> okay, <carry on. laughs> so uh, I, I got some colour challenges. Yeah, um, because uh, I wanted to to make a tonal effect. So we've used uh, a, a nice colour on the end there. Yeah, uh, and I'll show you how to create that. So that's not a standard colour. That's not a standard colour. That's double stuffed. Okay, um, and then we've got a two sixty Q in uh, in chrome. Double Gold. stuffing. Double stuffing is getting very popular isn't it we, we get sent pictures all the time from instagram from pinterest saying so, what color is this what color is that and you're like it might be a color but in all likelihood you'd say they're double stuffed yeah okay most 
most times there will be double stuffed. I, you know, single, double, triple, maybe even quadruple stuffed. Wow. Um, okay. uh, uh, but the, 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 the point is that even though we've got 80 odd colours, if you think of then the combination, and I don't know what the answer is, by the way, maybe that's question of the week. Oh, blimey. That, that would be a huge, <laughs> huge number. What number of colours that you could make by double stuffing the Qualitex range? It's probably billions. Be, it's it, probably it's billions. It's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. Yeah. But uh, we should do a show on that. Yeah. Not on all of them. Not on all billions. <laughs> then, but we a should. Long slide. We okay. Should. So, um, do you mind holding that for I'll me? I'll hold this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a little bit of uh, a 160Q. Okay. Uh, that I've taken the air out of. Put that over there. Um, and I'm just going to attach this to, to one of the points to create a, a good attachment okay. point. And similarly to how we bind the um, uh, deco bubbles mm -hmm. to seal those, I'm just going to bind this around the end. Okay. I've seen that technique you're using. Uh, fundamentals, I've seen that. <laughs> You've probably done more fundamentals than anybody else. It was you? funny when you said that the other day. <laughs> it's, it's probably true. Apart from the people that have been training, doing the yeah, training, of possibly, course. Yeah, possibly, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to tie that off with a normal double knot. The knot at the end, again, doesn't have to be particularly tight, um, but we've now got a really good connection point at the end of which we can tie our balloon off to. So that's unlikely to damage the balloon, that's not going to... It's unlikely to, you've still got to be careful because you, you're working on a balloon that's inflated mm -hmm. and, 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 uh, uh, and having an awareness of what you do, not overworking this is, is important. Okay. Uh, but to be honest, I've, I've never broke a Qualtex balloon doing this okay. at, at all. Um, and then I'm just going to tie uh, double stuff four and a half inch on. So that's that's that on the tent, but so, you can see lots of mechanics there. Yeah. And but what, what colours are they then? You said you double stuffed them. I'll show you, shall I? Yeah. So uh, I've just got to inflate one of these uh, uh, citrine uh, yellow five inch balloons. Okay. Uh, no need for that. I'm going to use uh, the premium twin air sizer. Right. So we're just it's not competition. <laughs> <laughs> so by pre stretching it, that's just going to give me a little bit of room to put the seven inch inside. Okay. And then I use a seven inch chrome and fold that up and put that inside. Can I ask why, why seven inch? Because I've, I've never heard of a Qualitex, well there's not been a Qualitex seven inch balloon before, has there? Uh, not that I know too. So okay. um, I'm sure there has been in testing. And I think this is one of the, I don't, I didn't work on this. So there's no, there's, there's no insider knowledge uh, right, okay. uh, of exactly what it is. There are, I've, I've thought about the, the question quite a lot myself. And actually there's, the, there's a lot of good reasons why we would do that. Okay. Um, uh, first and foremost is, uh, is to get an absolutely perfect color match with the 11 inch yeah. and the 260s. Yeah. It's really important that we do that. And obviously having a balloon that's the same thickness in, uh, in in material helps us to do that. Um, outside of that, obviously, a lot of this is going to be used for accent work on uh, on organics. Mm -hmm. um, so again, with accent work on organics, if you've got eleven inch balloons that are downsized, you then move to the next size, and if that's five inch, there's quite a gap. I see what you mean, yeah. Quite a gap in size there. Um, so, and obviously a, a, a seven inch chrome will go down to three inches and then you're into sort of the modeling balloon size range area. So you've got this beautiful scale that you can create for so the balloon. what you're saying, you could probably take an 11 inch and downsize it to 10, 9, 8, but if you downsized it to seven... You start to lose the shine on yeah, chrome. Yeah, yeah. So then seven takes over and you move down. Okay. Um, so this premium twin air size are absolutely fantastic uh, uh, for inflating double stuffed. I still can't believe it. Quadruple stuff. You could do quadruple stuffed balloons. This is this is such a powerful piece of kit. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, yeah, really, really, really. Because we've got uh, the PA, the uh, Precision Air. Yes. And you can't even do two sixties on that, can you? Uh, can't not remember. easily. T you certainly can't do one sixties. Yeah. And this will do one sixties, no problem at all. It will do double stuff two sixties. It will do this. It, you know, it, yeah. the range uh, of balloons, the pressure is the pressure isn't the issue. Yeah. It will it will yeah. just keep keep working. Very through clever. It. Very, very clever. very good machine. So. Um, but as I said before, we've still got this area yes. of mechanics that I'd like to cover. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to inflate a 260Q. Let a little bit of air out so I'm working with a nice soft balloon. 
and then I'm going to cover this uh, as we've done with the other one. So one of the ways of, uh, of making sure that I get a nice round shape is just to work the balloon by rolling it along and you end up with a natural curve. So we'll drop that natural curve round and measure to where I need to make my twist, mm -hmm. which is about there. Yep. Make one twist. Do you like using the 260 Q crumb? Uh, more than I do normal. Oh, really? <laughs> I find it a lot easier to, to do. I'm no entertainer. I'm no twister. But why is um, it easier? I, I think it's, um, it, it, there's less friction on the outside of the balloon. All right, okay. So when you're twisting, and when you, I don't know whether you heard the sound. Mm. Uh, there's, there's, there's none of that screeching yeah, sound yeah. where you get friction. Yeah. Um, it's really, really nice to use. I mean, we, we I spent luckily enough to spend a little bit of time with Bob at the, the yeah, fundamentals yeah. we did. He's a big fan, isn't he, of, oh. of the Chrome 260s? He's, yeah, a very big fan. So I've just wrapped the knot round, and I'm going to remove the excess. And the reason I wrapped the knot round is I can remove the excess and be confident there's enough friction there that it's not going to go down. Okay. Create my knot. Still looks a bit loose though, around the, the join there. Everybody's a critic. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm not being critical. So what I'm going to do is that, I'm going to turn that into a pinch twist now. Oh, so you've got a solution for that? I have. Didn't see that coming at all, Mark. <laughs> there you go. And that way, if we turn that over now, you can now see that that's a nice yeah. seamless finish. And we've got this lovely tonal effect on, 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 on colours. So if, if you wanted to, you could double stuff the 260Q and get the same effect as you that could one. Do. Yeah, you could, you could double stuff the 260Q and get exactly the same colour and, and, and that does work and that's fine. But, but I wanted three colours. Because there's no perfect match on the colours, mm. I thought it'd be really nice to do, to do three colours. There's no perfect match at the moment. At the moment. I'd be careful what I say. I'm not. Um, yeah, so and then we would just personalise the front with okay. whatever you want. I've used sheriff, but yep. you could use uh, uh, another another term, yeah. uh, uh, and that would be really good. Um, talking of personalisation, um, I've got something for you. Have you? Yeah. I'd like to deputise you uh, uh, as a <gasps> sheriff, Greg. Oh, look at that! That's, 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 look at that. I <laughs> got one for me too. And again, just playing with the idea, uh, using nine inch and you could use uh, uh, four inch stars. Um, and I thought, well, we'll just put a pin on the back. Yeah, you can't really do that with kids, though, can you? Nought to eight, uh, you can't do that. Yeah. So uh, we went uh, uh, shopping yesterday and we, we sourced these. I, I, I thought it was your magnetic personality, Mark. <laughs> but um, yeah, so these are so funky, aren't they? They're really, really good and very, very easy to use. It's a sticky backed, uh, uh, magnet. magnet effectively yeah. so you just drop one of them behind the the, the child's clothing uh, stick this directly to the balloon yeah and away you go yeah. very very easy and they to do. are available at balloon markets so yeah I was really impressed with that and, and you think that that'd be really expensive yeah and they're not they're not no I, th I think I think they're 15 pence each wow. don't tell everybody but I think it's great it's, it's safety as well and, and reusable but this is so funky because kids could run around with these and they are that that's that's quite yeah. there'll be a game to get I'm sure to <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Game and try and knock them off yeah yeah so should we talk about the rest of the design yeah so I've we've got we've got some uh, 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 classic decor this is a, 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 a alternate square pack um, used up in the idea the overall feeling of denim uh, uh, and then the plaid a uh, 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 feeling for the top, yeah, and then a little bit or organic um, sort of side piece around there using a uh, Holston cow. I love these, absolutely fantastic love balloon. Yeah, and I, I have downsized this. If I inflate that again, I have downsized this to the job. <laughs> So I've only put a very, very small amount of air in there and it's still an amazing print. If you need to, if you get an area where it's a little bit thicker, you just stretch it out before yeah. you tie it. And again, absolutely fantastic for, for customising designs. Beautiful design, yeah. that is. Yeah, no, I think it's great. And it's obviously perfect for the whole um, Toy Story theme. And at the top, we've got our North Star number four. Yep. Uh, but the main point about this is that the design is still there when you give away all the balloons. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just haven't got anybody to give them to. 
to, to, I can see if I can sort that. Shall yeah, I go, really? I'll, I'll go and see if I can get some people to give them to. I'll be, I'll be right back. Mark, Mark, I've got some people from the, from the party. Oh, brilliant. Blue. Emily, thank you so much for coming. Hope you enjoyed the party. There Here we go. go. Leone, there you go. Thank you for coming. There you go. Come on, Millie. Yeah. Millie on day two. There you go. Thank you for coming. My voice is cracking a bit there. Oh, here's Laura. There you go. One for Laura. Oh, one for Laura. Thanks, Laura. Thank it's you. been fun. Anna, there you go. Thank, thank you. you for coming. We got, oh, we we've got Gary. Us? I know. I know. This is great. Thanks, Gary. And we've got we've got Chloe. There you Chloe, go, Chloe. Thank you so much. And last but not least, we have Jim. But Jim, you get a bubble, but because you, you, you've been very very good today, so we're going to deputise you. So there, there you go. go. Wow. Sheriff Jim, thank, thank you, very, you much. very much for thank coming. You. So, Mark, I think I think that was a success. You demonstrated perfectly there. They came thick and fast. They then, did, didn't they? <laughs> they were very keen to be at that keen party. Keen to leave the party. Yeah. So, tell us a little bit more about about the design of this and, so and other aspects of it. So now you can see it. the uh, uh, the design at the end uh, and how it, how it's created. If I turn that to the side, you can see um, uh, really uh, simply the the classic decor that we talked about. Yeah. With the alternate square pack, uh, you can see the. Uh, Holston cow uh, uh, just coming round to look like a, a, a jacket, but there's some other key elements in here. We've got a nice one of our new uh, uh, cloud balloons, ideal for personalising at the top. They so are you need perfect. To do anything else there? But actually, once the party's all gone and all the balloons are given away, you're still left with yeah. a nice design. Yeah. Some of the key bits about giving balloons away at the design. If I turn that round again. Uh, you can see down the back here, we have a, a flat piece of 260, which is where all the balloons yeah. were tied to. And by having a long string of that, uh, it made it easier and they weren't all in the same position. And yeah. then it's easier that they don't get tangled up as much. So you could put a, a, as many, because you've got an attachment point up there for them yep. as well. Yeah, attachment point so at the top, uh, uh, a loop that's in there. So I guess, depending on how many people are coming to the party, you could put more loops on and attach more balloons. Exactly. And in terms of sales, this is this is my idea: is that this design has a cost, yeah. And it's from this cost for the party, and then how many people have you got? Do they want a latex balloon, or do they want a really special bubble balloon, or do you want a really special bubble balloon for the birthday boy or girl? Yeah. Uh, and then you can add that on, and then you've got wearables that yeah. we've created that you can also personalise and they're an add-on sale for as many people as you And like. of course, of course, Mark, you've just got the standard um, yes, party supplies that we didn't talk about. Party. We have not talked about those, but we're, uh, we've got a large range that uh, we've coming in with all the new uh, uh, Toy Story licensing. Yeah. Really important as well. Um, Disney, have, uh, uh, for some time now, have not allowed us to sell the old license mm -hmm. which meant we've had a bit of a clear out in the industry okay so if you are looking to uh, 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 uh to sell party wear and you are looking for the toy story it's unlikely you'll be competing against a toy story that's already in the marketplace yeah yeah really important so that's really good so yeah so we've just got the usual the cups the, the cups the plates the napkins the the table cover and you've got the, the north star number four there as well yeah. so mark that's, that's brilliant. I, I really like this idea. It's, a, it's something different, something I've not seen before, um, but that's, that's fantastic. Anyway, as you know, and I totally forgot to remind you, <laughs> question of the week. What are you going to ask everybody out there? Oh, I don't know. What's going to be the big film of 2019? Well, there are two big films of 2019. Huh? So what do you think is going to be the biggest animated film of 2019? Great question. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, it was yours. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, Mark, thanks very much as always. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. See you next time. Bye-bye.